Alright, so can this PS5 cooler save my PlayStation 5 from the overheating? We're gonna find out in this video. So, huge shout out to SCRY for sending this to me for testing. So, this PS5 cooler is called Arctic PlayStation 5 cooler by the brand called SCRY. So, they did send this to me and uh, I'll just be 100% honest with you guys in this video about what I feel about this as an average consumer and an average PlayStation 5 user. So unboxing wise, it was pretty decent. The box was okay. I mean, they did send this to me from a different country, so it was expected. And on the box, it also says all the specifications. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So it has six hyperfluid fans, painted it lamella frame technology, whatever that is. I'm not quite sure. And it is also as quiet as library and super speed USB port, plug and play, flexible functional illumination that is the lights and also supports all of the PS5 versions. And now for technical specification, it has fan speed of 4000 to 10,000 RPM. That is a lot of speed for a fan and I wouldn't say it's going to be as quiet as library and the rest of the things I'll just dimension and say it's black color. So when I was unboxing this, it was actually a pretty decent experience because the box was like you know looked normal but then it has this really cool sliding out thing because this is not an expensive fan i would say but the packaging was good for the price i would say and i'm not quite sure how much it's gonna cost because it's still a review unit you guys can pre-order it right now from the link in the description and again i'm not gonna get anything out of the orders it's just i got this for a review and that was it so when i unboxed it i was like okay let's see what it, what's in there and before i kind of ripped the box off so i had to unbox it again just putting it out there so here's a ps5 cooler you can see and i really like the aesthetic of it because the back side of the ps5 is actually matte finish so this fan was also matte finished and it has a usb port because when you plug this into your PS5, you lose one USB port. So they added a USB port. So you won't lose any of the access for the USB port that are on the back side of the PlayStation 5. And I kind of like the aesthetic of it because it also has RGB. Not the RGB, but the illumination. One static light on the back side of the fans. And there were like three fans and three were like kind of a smaller fans. I'm not quite sure the size of it. It was on the box though. So for installation, it was actually pretty easy. I wouldn't say like really that easy in the beginning. I kind of struggled to put it in. Okay, that didn't sound good. So yeah, when I was trying to plug it in, I kind of struggled because um, like, you know, you have to push it a little harder. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. It sounds really bad. So anyway, so you have to put it on the top vent and then simply just plug it in onto the USB port. So I kind of struggled because maybe I wasn't doing it in a correct way. But at the end, I actually did it and it fit so well. And trust me, I really like the aesthetic of it because it matches the PS5. You'll know what I'm talking about. So yeah, and also there was no trouble plugging in all the, like, you know, power cord and the HDMI. And when I plugged it in, it was all good and it is. It, it was time to turn it on. So, as you can see, it kind of looks really good. And uh, most of the people are gonna, like, you know, put their PS5 facing fr in the front. So you won't see that there's something plugged in onto your PS5. And as you can see, when I said I really like the aesthetic of it, I meant the lights on the back of the fans. So... It kind of matches the PS5 aesthetic. I really love it. But those are just lights, right? There's no other use of those lights apart from the aesthetic. So I started my PS5 and what I did was I tested the game called Resident Evil 4 Remake because that game is really demanding to see if this fan is actually gonna work. And surprisingly, it was working quite well. So without the fan, the airflow was okay. I mean, it was like, you know, just a standard PS5 overflow, uh, not the overflow, the airflow. And with this fan, the airflow got increased and I could feel a lot of hot air coming out of the PS5, like, you know, more than the standard airflow of the PS5. So this was sucking out a lot of air and yeah, it was working. There was no 
improvement in the sound though so it says as quiet as library but it was not so um i'm gonna be testing the sound test as well i mean i'll show you guys that i already done the sound test so plugging in and playing was actually true like you, know, you could just plug this and use it as it is but there's no physical button on the fan to turn it off that was kind of a downside they would have added a physical button so we can turn this off and we don't want to use it but it would have been nice so for the sound test it was surely not as quiet as library while i was using the fan running the resident evil 4 game and this is how it sounded without the fan so this was just a normal ps5 ambient sound and let's be honest we all use headphones while we are using it so that's not something to worry about and for thermal testing that they provided was actually impressive there was like five degree less with the arctic cooler and i could feel it it was uh blowing more air more like you know heat i would say out of the ps5 and i found this really cool trick to disable it was just plugging the usb part out and when i want to use it i would just plug it back in and that was working absolutely fine so physical button thingy was okay like i said it would have been nice but without that it was also working just like pretty good and like i said it was blowing really hot air and it was actually working and now the main question is should you buy this i would say if you live in a hot country as i am i live in india so this is actually really useful for me apart from the sound it makes it doesn't really matter because i use headphones every time i'm playing on my ps5 so that's that's off the table but still if your ps5 is working absolutely fine without any problem i don't think you would need this but still it is a really good add-on or an accessory for your ps5 just in case because playstation 5 do get overheated over time if you're playing for hours and hours and uh, for me i kind of happen to get a pop-up that my ps5 is too hot and i needed to turn off the console so should you buy this i would say yeah if you need an accessory that will make your ps5 run more efficient i would say yes you can buy it and again huge shout out to scry for sending this to me for testing and also if you want to buy this you can pre-order right now from the link in the description and uh, yeah and in the end what i feel as an average consumer about this product about this scry arctic cooler for playstation 5 it's a good buy if you want to spend some money for the ps5 accessory if you are the person who loves the accessory for your ps5 i would say because it also looks good for the aesthetic because it has the lights on the back so anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out